Welcome back to another episode of Know Your DN. I'm your host, Mark Christopher, and today we're talking about setting a secondary reference position on your DN Solutions lathe or mill, otherwise known as your turning center or machining center. Some just know it as G30, but either way, we're gonna go through how to set it up. The very first thing that comes to mind about a secondary reference position is why. Why do I need a secondary reference position? How is this going to benefit me or help me? On your DN lathe, the benefit is twofold. It allows you to safely get away from your part without going all the way back to the machine reference position to do a tool change. This is especially beneficial on those jobs where you're using a lot of tools or you're using a particular tool multiple times at different stages of your program. On a mill, the secondary reference point is mainly used to bring the table close to the doors for easier loading or unloading by the operator or a robot. So let's get right into setting this up. Today, I'll be working on a DNM 5700 machining center, but the process will be the same for any DN machining or turning center. First thing we want to do is change our machine to metric. You will be able to put your machine back into inch after we are done. But for the purposes of setting our G30, we need to be in metric units of measurement. So let's reference return the machine for all of our axis first. Simply put the machine in reference mode and press the appropriate axis to home your machine. When each axis reaches its machine reference position, the appropriate axis light will be solid on your control. Now I want to press the IHMI home key. Then I'm going to press the maintenance display and the offset hard key. I need to put the machine into MDI and change my parameter right enable to a one, which some of you may know as the peewee switch. Let's scroll down on that same page and change our input unit to millimeters if it is an inch. We will change this back the same way when we are done setting G30. Here on my DNM 5700 machining center, I'm going to set the second reference position right in front of the doors. This is to make it easier to load and unload parts off the table. So I'm going to put the machine in hand wheel mode and move the table where I want it to be for my G30. On my DN Solutions Puma TT1800 turning center, I am going to set the second reference position to give my longest tool on the turret clearance of my main spindle. If you are running a production job and every second counts on your program, you can figure out the minimum clearance you need for tool changes and set the position accordingly. Now that I have the table or turret in the position that I want, I'm going to notate my machine position both in X and Y on my mill and in Z and X on my lathe. Let me make sure I say that twice, machine position. Don't make a mistake and write down your absolute or relative position. That might give you some undesired results and we all know what that means in a machine shop. Now I want to press the system hard key, which will take me into my parameter page. Then I'll type 1241 and number search. Parameter 1241 is our G30 machine position we will reference. You will notice that the display jumps to a table that has my different coordinates displayed. Now all we want to do is scroll down to the appropriate fields Put the machine in MDI and fill in our machine position that we notated previously. Now you just need to re-reference the machine. Then press the offset hard key again, put the machine in MDI, if not already, and navigate to input unit and change it back to a one for inches if needed. Now I want you to move your cursor up to the Pee Wee switch and change that to a zero. Press the reset hard key and the Pee Wee alarm message will clear. Now let's press the hand wheel hard key and manually move your machine off any random direction in X and Y on the mill and X and Z on the leg. Now I want you to press the IHMI home key, then press the NC operation on the screen. Put the machine in MDI and type in G53, G30, X0, Y0, end of block, insert, on your mill or even on your leg. G53 is your machine coordinate setting position. Also, G53 is non-modal and whatever it is used with automatically uses G0 to move the machine. Now I want you to turn your feed rate override switch down to zero and press your 0% rapid hard key and then press the cycle start button. 
Here, I want you to note your distance to go values and slowly turn the feed rate override knob to let the machine start to move towards the position that you set. Once it reaches the set position, you will notice that the X and Y reference lights on your machining center are flashing. You will see the Z and X lights flashing on your turning center. The flashing reference position lights indicate that you are at the secondary reference position that you set. One last note on the lathe in this circumstance. If you try and do a tool change at the G30 position, you will get alarm number 2123, Turret Index Inhibit Area. This is a safety barrier built into your DN turning center to prevent crashes on a tool change. However, since we know our G30 location is safe, we can bypass the safety zone by typing in M56 before our tool change. In my example program, I'm going to type in M56 end of block, T0505 end of block. The machine will perform the tool change at the G30 position and you can continue on with your machining program. That's it. Setting up a secondary reference position is fairly simple and very helpful in improving your day-to-day -day shop production. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel to help us get this content in front of more DN machinists like yourself. And feel free to suggest a future topic in the comments. You can also follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn at DN Solutions America. If you have something you think is really cool that you've done with your DN machine, we love seeing it and telling others about it. So tag us and add the hashtag DN House. I wanna thank you for watching and keep making those chips fly with your DN machine.